Every day, human health is improved by modern medicine. But the function of some medicines can be a mystery that requires outstanding scientists to solve. Dr. Benjamin Ebert is awarded the 2021 Huerberry Prize for his discovery of the mode of action of lenalidomide in the treatment of hematological disorders. Dr. Ebert discovered a mechanism that promotes the breakdown of proteins in cancer cells. This has changed the way how we look at drugs and has opened new possibility for cancer research and cancer treatment. But the story of lenalidomide emerged from a tragedy when mothers took the medicine talidomide and their children were born with limb malformation. Talidomide was quickly taken off the market, but was still used for some rare diseases and would show to have an effect on severe forms of blood cancer. Marie Johnson has experienced one of these cancers firsthand. It started with uh, pain in my ribs for several months. The form of cancer that Marie has is called multiple myeloma. I didn't know what it was, and uh, I don't have it in my family. I couldn't understand where it comes from. I thought it was very, very strange. Cancer starts with a mutation that causes a normal cell to run amok. The mutation creates a cancer gene that pushes the cells to divide faster and faster. Multiple myeloma is cancer in the bone marrow. It is incurable, and for a long time, it was very difficult to treat. When talidomide was introduced to the treatment, the cancer slowed down. But why and how? This is what Benjamin Ebert was about to find out. Ben Ebert is both a medical doctor and an outstanding scientist. He has the ability to lead a team of collaborators towards a common goal, and he makes everyone feel enthusiastic. And these are really fantastic qualities, both in a person and, and in a scientist. Several researchers had already tried to figure out the mechanism behind talidomide without revealing its function. When Benjamin Ebert started to investigate another version, called lenalidomide. Ben Ebert has the fantastic ability to ask the right research questions. and doesn't stop until he has the answer to the question and has solved the problem. In 2014, after intense work in the laboratory, Benjamin Ebert published the study that described the mechanism behind lenalidomide. Normally, a drug would inhibit proteins in the cell and make them lose power. What Ebert discovered was that lenalidomide actually redirects the activity of a protein normally present in the cell, giving it a completely new function. In the cells, there are disposal systems which get rid of proteins that the cell no longer needs. But it can't detect the cancer protein. What Ebert saw was that lenalidomide acts as a glue and makes the cancer protein visible to the disposal system, which removes the cancer protein. And without this protein, the cancer cell dies. In October this year, I will end the only treatment that I have left. Then I have had this for four years in total. So it will end. I have a very nice life. I have no complications after the disease. I feel like before. When solving the riddle of lenalidomide, Benjamin Ebert opened up a whole new area of cancer research. He gave the world a new tool in the fight against cancer and other diseases. And several new drugs are already in the process of being developed. 
We never thought it was possible, and this was a huge and a great discovery. It will be exciting to see what this research will lead to in the future. I'm looking forward to that very much. I initially assumed that it was a scam. I was flabbergasted, surprised, uh, incredibly honored. Having funds to explore new areas will really be enabling for a lot of these projects. The Huerberry Prize of one million U.S. dollars is awarded by the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences and funded by the Huerberry Foundation.